Hi guys, it's Aristotle and welcome back to my first year auntie. So, um, I've been gone for several weeks. Uh, that being, I had a lot of like personal family stuff to deal with and because of that, I kind of just had to stay away and take a break from social media and just all things in general, just kind of left it alone and dealt with my family. So I'm back, I'm okay, um, and I have to go through several weeks worth of stuff in like five minutes, which is okay because my videos are kind of short anyways. So. It's not going to be that hard unless I start rambling like I am right now. So, the first thing that I'd like to talk about is um, binding, packing, whether or not I do it, and how I do it, and tips and tricks and all that stuff. Um, so for me, I bind, I don't pack. Uh, why? <laughs> I bind because I have a lot of chest dysphoria, very specifically chest dysphoria. Um, I don't really have a lot of this bottom dysphoria, but I have a feeling that once I get top surgery, it's, it's gonna all move and it's not gonna be fun. But for now, I don't um, pack for that reason. And also because I don't have any money and as much as I ask, people won't buy a prosthetic penis because it's weird. And they're like, oh, but like, it's, it's weird. And I'm like, no, it's not. But yeah, so I have no want to, nor do I, nor am I able to get one. So we'll, we'll come back to that after I get top surgery, which is hopefully this summer. Um, I do have some tips for packing or binding though because I bind and I bind pretty much every day except on the weekends because you're supposed to give yourself, which is a tip, uh, give yourself a day or two to not have a binder on. Um, during the weekends, most of the time I wear really, really big. I would say invest in a extremely big hoodie, like extremely big, like four times your size big. And just wear a loose bra um, and put that on and kind of just don't stare at your chest. Uh, yeah, that, that's a tip. But make sure to give yourself like a day or two because wearing a binder for so many hours within a day kind of, um, it ruins your breathing and you start to feel weird. Um, so, you know, and then after a while you get cramps and it's not fun. Um. I think for um, another tip would be definitely to bring, like, take a moment uh, within your day to like go to the restroom, um, step aside somewhere private where you can just kind of move it up and shimmy and breathe without it on you for a minute. If it's going to be a long day, especially make sure to have moments where it's just unpressurized breathing. Um, it really helps and it kind of just resets you. Another tip would, um, when you're adjusting, cause everything stays at the front, I would say it's gonna feel, um, everything's gonna stay at the front. So because it's gonna feel weird. So I'd say go side up, push everything to the side and down. Then when you do that, adjust underneath to make sure it's there and then do a do it to the same side and then make sure to take your arms, hold them, I can't do it because there's a door right here, but hold your arms out and then put them back and if there's little fat tufts, uh, make sure to correct those. Um, if not, then, then you're good. You don't really have anything to fix. Um, another tip for beginners, for people who don't wear, who, um, aren't binding either often or they have, they're just starting to bind, um, I'd say 
I go with uh, GC2B, I think that's how you say it, GC2B, yes, uh, GC2B. I'd say go with a long shirt, go with the longer ones if you can, just because um, if you're like me with a longer chest, question mark, it's kind of everything's still compressed because half of it is binder material and the rest is just compression material. Um, and so if anything kind of like slips and moves, the rest of the compression really helps um, so that it's not um, falling out or as awkward. You're also going to want to slouch. You're going to want to slouch immediately um, because it's pressurizing your chest and pushing it in so your shoulders naturally go forward. Try to beat that as much as you can. Don't stick out your chest so too much, but make sure that um, your back is straight. Um, don't stick it out, but like, just keep it like, you know, try not to slouch because then it's really bad for your posture. Um, and you got to take care of yourself, my dude. So yeah, um, give yourself breath, making sure that I'll also as well, when you get the binder, um, twist around, see if you can bend and move backwards and move your arms and make sure everything's okay. Do not, I cannot stress this enough, do not get a binder that's smaller than you. Do not, just because even if you want, like even if that little bump's there, yes, that little bump is there, but men, nat cis men, naturally have a bump there. That's just how they are. Um, sure, it may suck. You'll forget about it throughout your day, probably. You'll just go on with your day, especially if you're like me and you wear hoodies all the time. Where Hoodies will be your best friend because they just cover everything. You just don't see anything anymore. Um, it's all the same. And um, just don't, don't, don't buy binders smaller than you. It will kill you. Um, maybe not kill you, but it will actually maybe possibly kill you. Um, it messes up your ribs. It's the same, it's kind of, it has the same like problems as binding with ace bandages, which you should never do. Never buy with, never bind with ace bandages. There are tons of websites. I don't know them at the top of my head. And if I remember to, I will put them in the description, but there are sites and people who give away free binders um, monthly or semi-annually sometime throughout the year. Um, I do know that there is a trans YouTuber who I follow. Um, his name is Chase Ross, go check out his stuff. And he does a monthly binder giveaway. And uh, we missed this one for March, but in April, it goes from April 1st to April 6th where you can apply for a free binder. He gives away, I think 10, maybe 10 to 30, I don't know. Um, but he gives that many away, they're all from GC2B, um, and they're just, they're good, they're good binders. Um, there are just tons of places you can apply for, and I promise you it will be so much better than, you know, bind binding with ace bandages because that will mess you up. Don't do it. Um, this is already eight minutes long. So, uh, yeah, that's all really for binding, but on to that, on to the next thing where it comes to where I live and around this area, what is here for LGBTQIA plus places and the lifestyle and stuff. So I live in the Bay Area, um, near San Francisco, California, America, just slowly getting out. But if you know that, you know it's very liberal. It's very gay. It's very LGBTQIA plus centric. Um, so I've grown up around very accepting and very loving people. Maybe not my specific family, but most definitely like just in general. Um, I, yeah. There are places where I can go. I know there's so many like LGBTQIA centric groups. I know there are. <laughs> I don't talk to anybody. I don't 
involve myself in them. I do, I involve myself in the LGBTQI community somewhat. I um, just kind of talk to people and their experiences and I help people and um, I was formerly, formerly on multiple different LGBTQIA plus, um, I, I plus accounts on Instagram because that's the easiest way for me to access them. But otherwise, I don't. I kind of just sit in a little, a little hobbit hole. Yeah, I'm antisocial. Um, but yeah, what another thing I know that there there's something that's being talked about a lot now. Um, or maybe it was just how um, much it's been talked about recently that I've seen is like drag, drag queens, and drag kings, and whether or not it's offensive to the trans community. Um, I can't speak for everybody, just being said. Just because I think something doesn't mean that everybody else thinks that thing, I'm just saying now. Um, personally, I don't think drag is bad. I don't think it's offensive, um, mostly because it's men impersonating women, not trans women. It is m women impersonating men, not trans men. Um, and they are very, very over the top and very dramatic. They're dramatic. Like, that's just, yeah, they're dramatic and it's obviously a joke. Um, it's not like regular trans people and trans women on the streets because trans women and trans people don't dress nor act like that. I mean, unless they are trans drag queens and trans drag kings. Um, they don't, that's not a normal day-to-day -day wear. Um, RuPaul? That's a different question. Um, but for otherwise, I don't find drag offensive. I don't have any problems with drag. I think it's all fun and it's people, it's a way of people expressing themselves. And yeah, if people find out and they're way of drag of participating in drag that they're trans great for them let them let them do whatever they want to do i don't personally mind however people find that they are trans is every single way going to be valid and i'm as long as people are happy with who they are or at least working towards being happy with who they are then i'm okay with it whether it's being found through research through drag through seeing someone online and be like oh i feel you wait i feel you a little too much i might be trans and then researching um it it's all up to them and it's a form of expression and a form of art and a form of people acting and being happy with themselves that's all i could ask for really because i just personally i just want people to be happy as long as what you do doesn't hurt anyone's existence i'm okay with it so just be a good person and i don't care <laughs> um so yeah that's that's a really big argument nowadays on um in the trans community of whether or not it's offensive because personally to me it's not because they aren't trans people they're not imitating trans people they're imitating women and men so and they're doing it in a fun way so yeah well um next week or the week after that i will be bringing on a guest um probably one of my good friends nowadays um her name's emily and she, she's kind of gonna talk about those things and how she knew me and um, first impressions uh, that's really it um, yeah well thank you have a good day um, be kind don't offend people bye bye <laughs>